wedding message. To love is to share life together. To build special plans just for two. To work side by side and then smile with pride. As one by one, dreams all come true. To love is to help and encourage with smile and sincere words of praise. To take time to share, to listen and care in tender, affectionate ways. To love is to have someone special on whom you can always depend, to be there through the years, sharing laughter and tears, as a partner, a lover, a friend. To love is to make special memories of moments you love to recall, of all the good things that married life brings. Love is the greatest of all. I promise to continue doing the house chores like I do it now. I promise to always be understanding and patient. I promise to only listen to you when you need to rant instead of trying to solve the problems. I promise to take you out on a date and eat good food at least once a month. I promise to bring you on a trip at least once a year. <laughs> I promise to always remember the two important anniversaries, our wedding date and the date we got together. I promise to love and be there for you for the rest of our lifetime together. I love you, Bree! So, I know it's unusual for Bride to give speech at weddings, but so I just want to thank everyone for making it here today to share this special occasion with me and my husband. I know some of you travel quite a lot in distance, so it really means so much to us. So thank you, everybody. My husband, the love of my life, I love you so much, baby, and I can't imagine my life without you. From the day I met you, I always hoped that this is where we end up, and here we are. Thank you so much for your love and support and for the joy that you brought into my life. I look forward to starting this incredible journey with you. At last, our special day is here. Finally get to marry the love of my life. It always amazes me how complete opposites we are, yet it just works between us. As the saying goes, opposites attract. I am an introvert, you are an extrovert. You see the good in everyone, and I see the bad in everyone. <laughs> Words of affirmation is your top love language. Words of affirmation is my lowest love language. I guess everyone will now know who lost the battle of whether we should write our own vows. Having said that, I know I do not say this enough. I love you. I love how hardworking and passionate you are. I love how supportive and caring you are to me, our friends and our family. I love how you inspire me to be a better person. Most importantly, I love how you can fall asleep anywhere, anytime, in less than two minutes. In the presence of all our loved ones here today, I vow to always listen to what you have to say, even if we don't agree. I promise to love you, support you, and respect you. I promise to love our children, even when they become as annoying as you can be. And one day, if stars align, I might even let you win an argument. Above all, I promise to never forget this is a once in a lifetime kind of love. I can't wait to make new memories together, tick off our bucket list together, and build an awesome life together. Quang, you came into my life when I was least expecting it and completely changed my life. You saw my best and my worst and still stood by me. I am forever grateful for you being by my side for the past nine years. I love that you know me more than anyone else, more than I know myself. You always know exactly what I am about to say and what I am about to do. You cheer me up when I'm down 
You believe in me when I don't believe in myself. I love your silly side, the way you make me laugh. I love that you do little things for me quietly to show me love in your ways, even if you don't say I love you. You are my safe space, my favorite view, and the love of my life. I am the happiest when I'm with you, and I mean it every day when I say I fall deeply in love with you as day goes by. Today, as your wife, I vow to love and cherish you with all my heart, to share with you the joy in life's most wonderful moments and stand by you in the most difficult ones. To respect and appreciate you as my husband today and every day. To be your truest companion and grow old with you lovingly and sweetly. My heart is and forever will be yours. Now that I'm writing this speech, all the memories are flooding back and I'm so grateful to have met this girl. As I've always told you, Brie, even though we are now miles apart, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Having our long distance friendship, but as long as she needs me, I will try my very best to be there for her. Always have and always will. So before I ever knew Quang, and before I ever heard about Quang, I actually prayed for the existence of Quang. I prayed Bridget would meet a man who will fall in love with her intelligence, her kind, loving, beautiful soul, and the person she is. I could feel her happiness when she was texting me, telling me, all about this cute guy that she had met and was so happy about it. <laughs> and <laughs> Woo! And I was really happy for her. She had been away from home for so long and it was great knowing that someone is taking good care of her in the UK. So the number eight. It's considered to be the lucky number in Chinese and other Asian cultures. It signifies wealth, fortune and prosperity. I mean, to most people, a lucky number is just a, you know, a lucky number, you know. Uh, but something I've noticed over the years for Quang is that he takes his lucky number eight very seriously. <laughs> um, and I've got countless examples, you know. But, I've only got a few to share today. So to start off, um, something small, you know, Quang, he had his 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer, um, you know, and unfortunately he's had to sell that recently, and he sold it for £800? <laughs> his first house that he's bought, he lived at number eight, with with postcode EN8 as well. <laughs> and Bridget, I mean, you're a patient one for this one, but you know, <laughs> it's taken Quang eight years, eight whole years, to finally... <laughs> finally pluck up the courage to ask her to marry him. And of course, today is August, the eighth month of the year. I mean, it's getting, you know, it's too many coincidences here. So, eight kids on the way, maybe? <laughs> As if standing in front of you all and speaking isn't bad enough, I've got to stand up and dance in front of you all later. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank Bridget's parents, Alvin and Doris. Thank you for always making me feel welcome into the family. Thank you for your full blessings and allowing me to marry 
your beautiful daughter. Thank you for raising a beautiful, intelligent, yet sometimes stubborn daughter. <laughs> I know it must be hard to not see us as often as you like. Well, mainly Bridget. However, I promise to you guys we'll visit you more in Malaysia when we can. I would also like to thank my parents. Thank you for accepting Bridget with open arms and really treating her arguably better than your own kids. <laughs> I know this is something we don't say a lot, but I love you both. I want to thank the beautiful bridesmaids, Suzanne, Woo! Ada and Joyce. You have all done an amazing job at keeping Bridget calm and organised today. Also the ushers, the Woo! famous Yap sisters, Woo! Rachel and Deirdre. Woo! Thank you for ensuring everything runs smoothly today. And for those that don't know, there's an unwritten rule of wedding etiquette that states nobody should look more handsome than the groom. With that being said, I'd like to thank the groomsmen, Woo! Edgar, Ian, Kick. Honestly though, these guys have been my best friends for over 10 years. Last but not least, my beautiful wife. Or in Chinese, Mo Lo Po. Or better yet in Malay, Esteli Saya. Did I say that right? I love you in so many ways and for so many reasons. You know me and understand me like no one else ever could. You have a way of bringing out the very best in me. Thank you for, ma for marrying me and making me the happiest man alive. I cannot wait to start this journey together. So if you guys join me and stand, I'd like you to raise your glass to my wife. The new Mrs. Chow. Woo!